Minimum wage, of course, was originally intended so that a uh, family with a single breadwinner, um, a single you know working parent, would actually be able to support that family. And I think that it's pretty clear now that minimum wage has fallen far below what uh, is you know possible to support a family on. And now people seem to have a kind of sense of uh, self dignity in the workplace coming back to them, and I see them being coming active about it. And this is something that I've felt very frustrated about for a long time, and I'm really excited to. Uh, engage people who are themselves engaged. I don't think it's unreasonable to ask for institutions to pay homage to the fact that uh, everyone really should not be struggling to meet their basic needs given their opportunities. If we could make a change like this at McGill to institute a $15 minimum wage, that I think that would be huge. I'm fighting for 15 and fair at McGill University. Well, the time is never Today we step into the studio of Aunt Magda Ceramics. Renee Lagasse is the human behind the Aunt Magda Muse. She has been working in ceramics for six years. Her studio at Chat des Artistes is a delightful mix of gray and teal, order and chaos, productivity and tea. We're featuring Renee's tumblers in Serie Habitant's first monthly series. In this interview, we explore her ceramic technique of hand building, some of her artistic inspirations, and how she envisions her products entering your home. This week we sit down with Kevin, tea connoisseur at Camellia Sinensis. Kevin has bringing the world of teas to Quebec for over 25 years. Although Camellia Sinensis offers teas from around the world, we're featuring them in Serie Habitant because they also carry tisanes that are local to Canada and local to Quebec. We asked Kevin about his daily tea routine, features of a good teacup, and about our featured tisane, Le Secret de Bonheur. So pour yourself a glass and enjoy. We need a union because we are the front lines. We need the space to be able to organize ourselves as harm reduction workers to address some of the conditions in our workplaces, to work with our employers, to improve those conditions, and to better the services that we offer. A union is imperative for harm reduction workers. Since I've been there for the last 10 years, I've gotten an increase of 75 cents just recently after such a lengthy service.